Europe's top diplomat made a surprise visit to Kyiv to show the bloc's support in the fight against Russia. But Joseph Borrell's visit comes as another Eastern European nation is on the verge of halting military support to Ukraine. Azam Khan tells us more. European foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell made a surprise visit to Kyiv to mark Ukraine's Defenders Day. Greeted by President Vladimir Zelensky, Borrell pledged the EU's continued support for the fight against Russia. He also noted a recent stopgap budget bill passed by U.S. lawmakers did not include financial assistance for Ukraine, but stressed the EU's position remains unchanged. From our side, we haven't waited for this decision to be taken to increase our propositions to support Ukraine. Well before yesterday, the Commission announced the proposition to the member states of a Ukrainian fund with 50 billion euros. So let's see what's happening in the U.S. But from our side, we will continue supporting and increasing our support. Borrell added he hoped the decision by the U.S. Congress, which approved the temporary spending on Saturday, will not be definitive. U.S. President Joe Biden acknowledged the funding to Ukraine was missing in the bill, but said he expected Congress to honor their word in a separate vote. Borrell's attempt to show a united and unwavering European front in support for Kyiv may have been premature, however, after a pro-Russian party emerged victorious in parliamentary elections in Slovakia, a NATO and EU member. In his victory speech, Robert Fico, who leads the party, promised to cut military support to Ukraine and kick-start peace talks. He also slammed the EU for being led by the nose instead of making its own decisions free of American influence. Last month, Poland also stopped its arms exports to Ukraine. Azam Khan, HKIBC.